Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Celeste. Let's go, chapter 6, Reflection. Did you know it's impossible to outrun your own reflection? I mean, in this game that's technically not true, because I've done that a few times. Tired. Theo, you're awake! Am I? I'm skeptical. I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep. It's all coming back to me now. That actually happened? Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we were together in it. Or we were in it together. Same thing. I don't know if I could have done that alone. That's a very important lesson you need to learn, Madeline, because clearly you've got some... some mental issues here and you need to work through. And you cannot do that alone. Ah, <laughs> uh, interesting. What's really going on here? Clearly this isn't a normal mountain. Dialogue choices for Theo, this is intriguing. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. She last out at Mr. Ashiro. I think she was the region the gondola stalled out. And she was there in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I would have gone- I wouldn't have gone into the temple if I knew this mountain was capable of- I tried to stop you. <laughs> you could have mentioned your demon doppelganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe myself. Alright, alright. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Oh, this is cool. You get both their dialogues. That's interesting. How long was I out for? It must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm? Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly? You remind me of my sister. That's adorable! What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first, but you'd eventually love her. She's a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool! Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Wow, she'll make no money. How do I remind you of her? <laughs> you both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you too. I wish I could say the same for myself. What do you think about the temple back there? Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. It must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. This mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why the crazy old lady lives here. You run into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. But she does seem pretty content living here. Thank you for believing me back there. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. Your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. 
That's classic, Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing this mountain anyway? You're right. I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. Preaching to the choir, yeah. I've had many a soul-destroying day job. Work is fine, actually. I just... I'm going crazy. I keep thinking about dumb crap that doesn't even matter. My brain fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry. It's pretty rough stuff. Can I help? You're already helping. It feels so good to say it out loud. You don't talk to anyone about it? No, not really. My mum knows I get depressed and have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink, mostly. I get mad at people on the internet. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's one way to do it. <laughs> Probably not a very healthy way to do it, but certainly a d way to do it. What brought you to the mountain? Just kind of bumming around. As usual. I started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to do. Uh, sorry, finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life. But I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped on a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. Now I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky that sounds. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone is so patient with me. But like I say, I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out what I'm, where I'm going and what I'm doing. You said you wanted to feel lost. Maybe you should just embrace that for now. Maybe. Would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. Yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. It's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal. But now it feels just out of reach, no matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. I just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought that I could... I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction. Hoping that I find... something. That's really why I'm here. But I couldn't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're just trying to push out... Uh, to push... Sorry, that was a weird sentence. I think you're just trying to push out of that rut you're stuck in. And that's a totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Maybe. That's... helpful. This part of you that's haunting you. Maybe she comes from that... from the territory. Comes with the territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you, too. That's not helpful. <laughs> So you wouldn't destroy this part of you? Won't that hurt you too? If I don't, she's not going to. She's going to keep bullying me. If she says she's protecting me. That's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. 
Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. The feather helps a lot. Thank you for teaching me that. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Are you close with your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. Just how it goes. All I can do is stay positive. And live a meaningful life, because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. This is really cool, by the way. Uh, what else did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. Actually, he was the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. It felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less violent. Interesting. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you needed to change, so you chose to climb a mountain. Why not do something relaxing instead? That's a fair question. Go to Hawaii, or like, take a bath. I guess I feel like I need to accomplish something? Sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it is kind of extreme, but that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. And I can't just do something a little bit. It's all for me, or nothing. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. Thought you'd never ask. I think that's the first time we've really seen her happy. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to search, reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I already put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay, good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? It comes naturally. <laughs> That was a very interesting conversation. Hmm, another dream sequence. Feather! Okay. I can't wake Theo up. Oh, interesting. New mechanic. Northern Lights are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Where are we? We need to talk. Okay. I finally understand who you are. You're not my true reflection. I'm not? You're everything I need to leave behind. You're cruel, paranoid, controlling. Why would you say that? No, it's okay. I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be much happier. You're so... So... 
So stupid. You think you can just leave me behind? You think you can blame everything on me? You think you can, you're above me? Answer me. Calm down, please. Calm down. Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather. Once again, controller is shaking like a bitch at the moment. You're going to think about a feather to stop me. You're not above me. You can't climb this mountain. It's time you accept that. Madeline, what's happening? Oh, damn. Bitch, how did you survive that? I mean, it's probably all crazy stuff in her head at this point, but... Okay. This is really cool aesthetically. Oops. Well, that was a shame. Ugh. Interesting. I think I know what I have to do here, but... Seems kind of difficult. Eh, not that difficult. I also like the fact that, like, the feather gives you, like, the most powerful power that we've had so far. Like, you have just fully controlled flight, effectively. And it's that symbol that she had, like, the feather was the symbol that, like, really helped her pull herself out of panic attacks, and it's helping with her depression, so it's... It's cool to me that that's the power that you get that actually helps you the most. That was close. <laughs> uh. It's interesting because some of these are much simpler than others. That was close. It's over now. Why won't you leave me alone? I hate her. But she's part of me. 
I'll never be able to get rid of her. And she was right. I couldn't climb the mountain. Have I, like, found the bad ending of Celeste? Oh, I see. I bet I could have bashed through this wall as well, which, now seeing it, I want to do. I broke the wall, I wonder if the wall stays broken. It does indeed, perfect. Oh, B-side. That was dumb of me. I don't know why I went backwards there. I got it. Fantastic. B-side unlocked. I'm all to get it at most of those attempts, because I did a lot of attempts. Um... <laughs> Took me a while to get that one. I think I know which way I'm supposed to go here. I think I go up to the right. Indeed. got over here. Hmm, I can't make that long a distance, so I guess we need to go up there somewhere? Oh, I see. I see what we have to do. Up here... Well, uh, you have to, okay. You have to use the momentum to jump to. It's interesting, this level seems easier than previous levels. Like, the B side was difficult to get, but, like,. See, that's doable, right? Oh, okay. I see. But, like, the Mirror World seemed like a harder level than this. Which is that- well, I mean, the Mirror World was, like, a very hard level, but... Oh, interesting. That's cool. I like how they just introduce new mechanics and like I instantly understand them pretty much.
Also, I'm not sure whether I'm, like, supposed to be, like, mazing my way through this, or whether or not just heading to the right is the correct decision, which it often is, to be fair. Actually, I may need to do that. To get that distance? It's possible. Maybe I don't need to... That's what it is. You don't need to be holding the side to get the boost jump. Interesting that I can break these things now, because previously I couldn't. I guess this is supposed to be like a maze, right? This is intriguing. Oh, spikes. Oh, there's a feather. You can just do that. I nearly did that in one. I just want to point that out. And now I'm going to fail a hundred times, because that's how this game works. Or not. <laughs> Weird. I saw that that was breakable, I was just... I didn't understand why they let me break it. Because these guys can't go up and down, right? No, they can only go off the blue sides. You can't crouch walk, good to know. Interesting. I think that's literally what I have to do, by the way. Whew, that was a difficult room. Um, talking about how this level is relatively easy comparatively? Eh. Not entirely. It got harder. Oh, am I... I seem to be bouncing off that. Yeah, okay, I'm bouncing off that. Okay, I think I get the concept. Maybe? Cool. I took the high road there, to be sure. I see, when they're in the bubble you need a dash, that's why they're more difficult. Because you like, bounce off them otherwise. bird. Oh, hello again. Of course you're here. Calling a quits, I see. No, I fell. It's over. That's probably for the best. 
The mountain doesn't pull any punches. Yeah, I get it. I wasn't strong enough to climb your stupid mountain. You can laugh at me again if you want. <laughs> I didn't mean actually laugh. Sometimes you've got to know when to throw in the towel. You'll get over it. You know what? I had a lot of time to think climbing out of this cave. And I'm already over it. That part of me was right. I can't do this. I'll just go home in my sad life and my be miserable forever. You clearly haven't got over it. Shut up. I know. I don't want to give up. But no matter how hard I try, she sabotaged me every step of the way. Then beat her. A lot of kids on the mountain come here to climb this... Sorry, a lot of kids come here to climb this mountain only to give up. It's a shame that you fell. I was starting to think you'd make it. What makes me so special? I've never met someone so angry at themselves. Honestly, I thought you'd reach the summit just by spite yourself. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Gee, thanks. This girl you're talking about, it sounds like she's holding you back. Talk to her. Figure out why she's so scared. You think she's scared? I guess I never thought of it that way. Stop wasting both our time and ask her. What have you got to lose? I don't know how to find her. She's part of you, right? If you look for your, her, she won't take long to find. So you know about this mountain's power? Of course I know, I live here. That's a fair point. I tried to warn you. You need to work on your messaging. <laughs> a glimpse at the truth is good for people. Even if most can't accept what they see. There's no shame in running back to your car and driving away. Someday you'll be ready, then you'll come back. No. I'm going to see this through. No more running. I thought so. Good luck. How can you stand living here? Isn't it hard to deal with all this with this all the time? I think Madeline she's reached the point where she's at peace with herself, therefore this mountain doesn't really affect her at all. It's true, you never really get used to it. But it keeps me sharp. I like that about it. But this mountain is so confrontational. Sure, it doesn't beat around the bush. Celeste Mountain is a place of healing, dear. The first step of healing is confronting the problem. It's never easy. Tell me about it. Yeah, I think the, the reason that she enjoys living here as much as she does... Whoa. I guess I'm following that. I was expecting this elevator to take me back up to the top. I guess it probably does, but Madeline doesn't want to go that way yet. She wants to confront her inner self. God, that's a cool movement ability. I don't know if it's, like, designed, but you can do, like, long jumps that are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, what I was saying, I kind of cut myself off there, because platforming is difficult. But, um... Oh, interesting, I can go down there. Um... Yeah, the woman who lives here, clearly she's... She's kind of fought her own demons, and therefore she doesn't really have the need, like... The mountain doesn't affect her in the same way, like... It's not confrontational to her, or at least not as confrontational, because... She's not as confrontational in her own mind, which is the problem that Madeline has. Is the reason that the the reason the mountain is so confrontational is because she's so confrontational with herself. So there's a shortcut through here by going down the middle of everything. But that's kind of difficult. 
You can go the long way or the short way. The short way is shorter, but more difficult. Obviously, I'm going to try and go the short way. That's a tricky turn. So you need to go through like here. It's a tight bend. I made it. Cool. Uh, apologies for the Discord noises. <laughs> I forgot to turn Discord off before I started recording. Wow, that was weird. I figured there was something behind it. Clearly I was wrong. I think what I want to do is this. I forgot how much momentum that gives you. This is actually relatively tricky. It gave up. It's the first time one's given up. Looking for me. I thought you were done with me. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. You think you've got it all figured out. You think you don't need me. I said I'm sorry. We need to move past this. You expect me to trust you? You aren't innocent either. But I know you're scared. Look, we're at rock bottom. There's no point in fighting. I can keep digging. I could pull us down to the center of the earth. What would be the point? Let's climb out of here. Together. Come close to me and I'll make you regret it. This is a really cool boss fight. It's always interesting in games when you have one hit point, effectively. Like, one hit, you're gone. Makes for interesting, uh, boss encounters.
she sniped me. Platforming, here we go. Possibly the best boss fight in a platformer I think I've played in a very long time. I guess I can... Did you a favor? You aren't a mountain climber. I'm just trying to help you. None of this would have happened if you had just listened to me. Whoa! Fucking ball of music, by the way. Oh, 
got her. That one took ages. We did it. Fine. You win. I guess you don't need me after all. If you want me to go away, I'll try. That's not what I want. I need your help now more than ever. Please, let's work together. Work together? You're choking, right? It's okay to be scared. I knew this was coming because of Pico 8, but I really like the look of it actually. Look at this. I've unified myself clearly. Now think of all the things I can do now that I have double dash. This actually, I gotta say. Having two dashes, like the idea of having like... Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> How did we do that? Yeah, kinda. If we can climb like that, maybe we can still reach the summit. 
And you still want to climb the mountain? Why would you go back up there? It's good to see you two playing nice. Hey, thanks for talking some sense into me earlier. Don't mention it. I'm glad I can still be useful every now and then. Madeline! Jesus, did you jump off the mountain, dude? <laughs> Madeline, you're okay. I ran down to help, but it looks like you're doing fine. Thanks, Theo. Honestly, maybe that fall was what I needed. Is this the part of you you were talking about? <laughs> She's like an adorable goth Madeline. Hi. You're right, Theo. I shouldn't be afraid of her. If I and her work together, I think we can finish- still finish the climb. That's so rad. Wait. No, no. I didn't agree to this. You said you, were t you would talk about things first. You're right. I understand that you're scared. But we both know what the, uh, that this is something we want to do. We have to try one last time. I think he just yelled YOLO. But yeah, we've got this. <laughs> I don't know. We were so close and then we uh, fell. The mountain tore us apart. Yeah, that happened. But I have to believe we can put that behind us. I have to believe we're capable of this. It's not a bad idea. It'll still be difficult, mind you. But I'm amazed you got as far as you did, butting heads like you were. I reckon you can make it if you cooperate. Okay. I'll try. Can I help? You've already done so much for me. Let me hold your bag, at least. Good idea! This won't take long. Interesting. Chapter complete. Reflection. That's pretty cool. Smack bang on 200 deaths. I like it. So, what's the next level? I guess the next level is making it to the summit. I'm really tempted to just start doing this, like, immediately, by the way. Um. <laughs> like, it's really tempting. But I think I will actually separate into a separate video. Having said that, I may actually, like, link them all together in one video, because... Just because of timing of release, when I release episodes and stuff like that, it may work out better. So it may be, like, a really long episode. Um, we'll see. I may do it as two separate ones and just upload them both on the same day. It's also a possibility I might do that. But anyway, um, in case I don't, <laughs> this is going to be it for this episode. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.